Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. If you watched the other demonstrations in this series, you should actually know all of this stuff that I'm going to show in this demonstration already. You might uh, consider this your own exercise, and this is the step through uh, answer to that exercise. So if you haven't done so already, please give it your best shot and try to do this exercise yourself. The exercise simply is replace well, all the cells that has formula in them with your own calculation. So it's just how to do calculations in Excel. And if you've seen the other demonstrations in this series, that should be very simple. But I'll go through the details here. The home tax is, of course, the home value and multiplied by, by the property tax. So I'm just going to do equals home value multiplied by property tax. So, as always, I'm entering the equal sign multiplied by, well, whatever you want to count, really. And here I'm counting the property tax of the home value. There we go. And then I'm uh, just going to calculate the interest. And interest is usually calculated as the loan amount multiplied by the interest rate. Right? And that's the yearly interest. The re Payment should of course be repayment, of course, and that is the loan amount again equals the loan amount divided by the loan term repayment. Other costs is the sum of all these, so that gets a little bit trickier. So you could do the auto sum and then just select all of these. So that of course does the sum of the B11 to B16. You could of course go ahead and type that one plus that one plus that one. That works too, but it's a lot more boring, so I'm not gonna do that one. And then the total, again, auto sum, but be careful you actually auto sum the correct thing. There we go. And now I just go ahead and divide the yearly value here in the cell to the left, divided by 12. And I can do that over and over again with all of these and just remove that one. Now that's the answer, and now you've completed the exercise. Just to make this a little bit prettier, we could uh, make these all into dollar amounts. And here's the dollar amount thing there. Actually, that turned out to be crowns, Swedish crowns. Let's do this English instead. There we go. And I don't want any decimals. And uh, these are all also dollar amounts. So let's do those again. And some of these are dollars to those, those. And no decimals on those either. And also another very good practice that I've talked about in the other demonstrations is that you want to differentiate what the user is supposed to put in and what the calculations are. So I usually use cell styles for that. So these are all um, calculations. There we go. These are inputs, all of them. Or they might change at least. There we go. And these again is a calculation. And those are inputs. So that's a good idea to use that, I think. So that concludes this quick demonstration. And of course, you can test this all now. If you put the loan amount to zero, then it should be much cheaper to stay in that place, right? Just control Z to change it back. So you can test that everything works as it should by entering zero values. That's always a good practice. Thank you for watching this demonstration.